So yes, it was only a matter of time until somebody discovered a way to free roam as Venom, but yes, that's absolutely possible. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull it off. Also, a big shout out to the user Element on YouTube because he was the first one that posted about it. I'm not sure if he's like the first user to discover this glitch, but he was the first I found. So totally check out their video too. But to pull this off is actually pretty simple. You will just have to progress a bit into the mission where you play as Venom until you reach these outer sections in what's essentially Times Square. So what you're going to aim for right here is this building and essentially this wall. We're going to try to climb it all the way at the top. So either clear all enemies or just make your way over there. It doesn't really matter. And once you reach this, you're going to try to aim for this line and essentially just spam the jump button. As you will notice, Venom will kind of try to pull it off in a very goofy way, but it will bring you at the top. Now, once you are here, you're going to try to just like go to this second wall and not the primary one, otherwise you're going to get stuck. And from this point on, you can just follow this second wall. It's going to be rather easy. You will just have to repeat this until you reach the top of the building. Now, it will require quite a bit of that X spam to like just jump over it, but eventually it should bring you there. Now, once you do reach the top, this is where it becomes a little bit more complicated, but there are going to be two invisible walls that we're going to try to bypass. So if you go, for example, to the left, you're going to notice that there is an invisible wall. And if you come back to the right side, there's going to be another invisible wall. So what you want to do is to just hug this huge sign right here, the metal grills, basically, which if you get close enough to, you're going to be able to bypass that wall onto the left side. And from this point on, you're kind of free to roam the city. There aren't many restrictions. You can go to almost any location as long as it's not Times Square, as there's going to be a bunch of walls all around Times Square that will prohibit re-entering that same area. However, everything else is pretty much free to just play around with and have fun in. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is that Venom doesn't really have the same traversal mechanics as Spidey does. So it's going to be a bit more complicated to move around and obviously a lot, lot slower. You can still use top of buildings, by the way, but it's always going to have that goofy jump animation when you're kind of trying to grab onto buildings. Another thing you will notice is that you no longer have access to fast travel, which means that you're going to have to pretty much go on foot everywhere. But I also went down to the street level and, well, all the traffic is pretty much gone. You're not going to see any vehicles and for good reason. There's no reason to render any traffic if you're going to get, like, just that mission in the Times Square. But on the other side, NPCs do still spawn. Like, you will see civilians around going by their daily lives. And it seems that you cannot really do anything against them. I really wish there was a way to, like, just grab a few and see how it is to throw some civilians. But no. Venom cannot hurt them either. So if you do like attacks or trying to grab them or do any sort of damage, you're not gonna do like anything against them. You can still, however, bump into them and they will react. Or if you jump from very big heights and fall on an NPC, they will also drop down. But yeah, it's just like the same animation that plays when you bump into NPCs with the other Spideys. Now, you can also go to the other side of the river. However, if you want to pull this off, you're going to want to constantly spam X. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in the swimming animation and can no longer jump out of the water. So just constantly do this very goofy kind of slide and spam the X so that, yeah, Venom jumps at the end of it and then just gains a little bit more height. That's because by the end of it, you're going to have these kind of like bigger rails that you have to grab onto and you can't if you are inside water. This is also how you can reach some of the other neighborhoods. If you want to go into Brooklyn, for example, or visit Peter's house, you can totally pull this off. And I believe you can also go ahead and try out the bike that we covered in yesterday's video. I think that Venom also has the animations to just ride the bikes, I guess. So yeah, now that I saw this, I really want a Venom game even more now. Hopefully in a couple more years, or maybe a bit more than that, when this game comes out on PC, inevitably, we might get some orders to work on a full-on Venom free roam without any restrictions. I think that should be possible, but um, this is pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
What do you mean that's not a good enough excuse, team? 